Back out Nugent now after the field goal as he'll send it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their <laughs> offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. And there's a good opportunity to just want to ride there, a drop pass. I guess that's why they call them running backs and not catching backs. Second down here after the incomplete pass. On second down, Mariota again. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Rashard Matthews, the intended target, and it's third down. And the offense looking to pick up the first down after the second down incompletion. So here we go now, an extra defensive back in there on third and 10. Mariota now, and complete to the tight end Walker, right side. It'll be a gain of eight, but it'll also lead to a fourth down. A short game that doesn't get them the first down, brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. Here's Brett Kern now. He's been one of their few bright spots so far. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. This will be fielded at the 17. A very good return that time. 18 yards. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> not one that I've ever met. Again, here's Bernard. And he'll push this forward only to about the 42-yard line. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves him with a third and three. Well, so many times we look at a short run, and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things. But the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blows. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. They look to throw on third with Dalton. And that's complete to LaFell. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. Brandon LaFell, his second touchdown of the night. And the Bengals have got it on cruise control. Well, this game is definitely over, but we do know some people like to go ahead and continue to add to their score, don't we? Yeah, I, I don't know that they need to add any more right now, though. I'm just starting to think about those dinner plans tonight, my friend. Well, you and I will be thinking about dinner plans, but we also know they're playing people are thinking, how can I get some more scores for my fantasy, for other things? They're trying to figure that part out now. By the way, last weekend we went sushi because that's what you wanted. We're going steak tonight. I'm in. All right. Scoring summary, three-play drive, and the gadget play gets him into the end zone. After the touchdown, here's Mike Nugent now to kick this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. And the Titans getting set to go. And three and out on the last drive. No points on the scoreboard. A little soul-searching now? I would say so, and they need to help out their defense a little bit. They've had to be on the yeah, field a lot position. more than normal, put them in some tough spots, but what's the old adage? When you get another chance, it gives you a better chance to do it right. A first down throw for Mariota. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out, incomplete. 
Everything about that play tells you about today's NFL offenses and what they're asking out of running backs. You can't just be a guy who can run the football. You have to be able to catch it as well, and he didn't get that done on that play. Unable to connect on the first down pass play. Now it's second down. A second down throw here for Mariota. Finding his safety valve here. That's complete. Six yards on the pickup, and that'll bring up a third down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware a ball may come your way. Mariota from the gun on third down. And this is going to be incomplete. I'm not sure we could spot any tendency here on this third down. They could have run it or passed it. Either one was available. They chose to try and get it through the air, but they were unsuccessful. Averaging over 50 yards a punt so far as this one's away. Fielded just inside the 20. Well, he wasn't too far from breaking that. Officially, give him 15, and the Bengals take possession. Now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. And they were able to punch it in the end zone last time. They'll be looking to do that again here for the defense. Obviously, they'll be looking to stop them from punching it back in the end zone. It always is punch, counter punch, isn't it? And which team has the advantage? Well, let's just go back. Last time on offense, they rolled downfield, got into a good rhythm. You can see a little more bounce in and out of the huddle. You can see the sideline really get into the game. So defensively, you're thinking to yourself, how do we take that away from them? How do we get the advantage back? Let's see what they come up with. I think pressure is always the first way to go. <laughs> if you love pressure, we'll, I love we'll it. see if they dial it up this drive. They come out with one back and three tight ends. They go play action here on first down. And a scary incompletion almost picked off. It would have been their first INT of the game. Instead, second down. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum, big play, right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense that that fell harmlessly to the ground. Not running. Dalton wants to throw. Got a man over the middle, and it's complete. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Well, go ahead and throw the ball, man. You got the big lead. You got the clock on your side. Obviously, they don't care much about the feelings of the other team, do they? Well, I was going to say, you better run to the locker room pretty quick after this one. Well, right now, maybe. They're just looking at it from the fantasy perspective. More points for everyone if they win big. Now the offense lining up first and ten. Three, three. Now Dalton with a first and ten. And incomplete. Probably should have had that one. But with the game he's having tonight, maybe they'll let it go. One of the toughest things about playing defensive back is pattern reading, trying to figure out what they're doing. And on that one, they had the fly. Just sending a guy downfield with the in route accompanying it. What people call a dagger route, trying to hit the guy underneath after the clear out. In this case, though, they're not able to get it done. Yeah, they said forget the underneath route put him for the guy on the fly, but as you said, incomplete. Here's Bernard. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. And my friend, I think it's safe to say that this game is pretty much deceased at this point. It's taken a knee, so to speak. It is definitely this victory formation. Take the snap, take the knee, call it a night, you know, call it a game, call it whatever. I agree with you totally. I don't think there's much left to get except for those who want to run up the score. I, I knew this was over about a minute ago when you took your stat sheet and just flipped it over your shoulder in the trash can. Yeah, that's, that's my. Yeah, that's similar to the guys cutting tape off yeah, right before the yeah. game's over. We know this thing's done. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. Just a four-play drive that time. And a long run there in the end to top it off. And after the touchdown, here's Mike Nugent now to kick this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. 
And with a new rule, that decision to bring it out will cost him about five yards as he only gets to the 20. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. They are just obviously getting shellacked here in this one, Charles. What's, what's the message if you're a coach for this final drive in a lopsided game like this? For a lot of coaches, be honest. Don't forget today. Don't forget what has happened out here. Yeah, use that as ammo exactly. going forward. Exactly. Take a great look at that scoreboard. Realize how poorly everything went for us today. Coaching, playing, the whole deal. And never forget it because... You're not going to want that feeling. No, you don't want that feeling again. And who knows? You may meet up with this team again. Mariota to throw it. Left side caught by Matthews. A nice pick up there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. In recent years, the slot receivers really gained stature in the NFL because they can do so many things. Yes, they can line up wide like your normal wide receiver, but they have that kind of courage and toughness to run routes in the middle of the field and become dependable targets for their quarterbacks and move the sticks. Those guys are worth their weight in gold. To the sideline, and oh, a nice catch there. Made sure the feet were inbounds, and they were. I know they don't like to hear it when they get to a certain age, but then you have to start to use your, your skills, your wiles, right, your mind to beat guys to the football. And getting your toes tapped in bounds definitely qualifies as that, doesn't yeah, it? The veteran showing he still has the agility. A play fake to Murray. Now Mariota. Trying for right, and it's intercepted. Picked off by a former Titan, Adam Jones. And they will take over possession of the football at their 42-yard line. Well, this defensive pressure has been constant all game long. The pass rush, the coverage, they've all been excellent. And now they'll tack on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. Now Dalton, they have the big cushion. Here in the final stages of this one, I don't know if there's any better feeling than being up big on the road. There really can't be, because for a team to go on the road and win in the NFL, that's huge to begin with. But just think about all the preparation that went into it. When they first started talking about this game, leading up to it during the week, going on the road, unfamiliar city, obviously, unfamiliar hotel. No one's going to be with you once you get to the stadium. They're all going to be against you. You name it, all those things they had to deal with, they were able to conquer them and do it convincingly. Yeah, they did it very convincingly. And now the final moments of this one. One receiver left, three to the right. Oh, passing it, Dalton. And give him another six. It's caught for a touchdown, and the blowout continues. So a little icing on the cake there before the clock hits all zeros. What a way to finish things off. Exactly what you want. Not much time and a touchdown to put things away. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it ends with a Bengals score. And after the touchdown, here's Mike Nugent now to kick this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. <laughs> and a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll, and for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And they'll set up shop right near midfield at the 49-yard line. Facing this fourth quarter deficit, felt like they had to throw the ball, and on the other side, they were ready. No doubt about it. They're playing situational football. They look at the clock. They know the lead that they have, and all they're doing is playing pass on every down. Playing the pass, picking it off, and now big time in the driver's seat. The storyline of this one, Charles, no doubt the number zero. Zilch, nada. A shutout so hard to do in the NFL. 